everybody and welcome back to a new Exo Heroes Hero Spotlight. Today we'll be looking at Rudley, Lenome's Royal Guard Captain. A quick overview, Rudley's a relatively simple hero, single target focus with some dependent utility, that is until you get his fate core where he turns into an entirely different beast. A quick look, he is a fated hero with a nature element, attack position, and physical attack type. Now, let's take a look at his skills. Okay, just like every other hero in this game, Rodley has a basic attack that does 505 damage to 607 damage. So let's take a look. And his A1 is called Lightning Attack, which deals single target damage to one enemy for 525% damage. And it also provides him the Vanguard passive, which grants a barrier of 51% of his own maximum health to himself and another ally if marked with command for 12 turns when hit. And lastly, let's take a look at his A2, which is Decisive Strike. And it deals 750 damage to one enemy. Also provides the Vanguard passive that grants a barrier of 73% of Raleigh's own maximum health to himself and another ally, but this time for 13 turns if he is marked with command. And lastly, let's take a look at the passive. So the passive is relatively straightforward for the base uh, Rodley. It just counters three, which counters um, when he's taking damage. And it also has a couple additional components that allows him to gain one mana if the target dies. And also if he gains one mana if the target health is 70% or more. With that, we'll take a look how you can use the base Rodley to his full potential. And then we'll take a look at his fake core components. Right, so as we've just seen, Rudley is pretty straightforward to use while also situationally providing good utility if he has Garf and pretty good single target damage. Even with Garf, the fact that his Vanguard passive on both actives does not specify which ally gets the barrier makes it hard to strategize and really build a plan around an otherwise strong effect. Rudley's passive works well if he's the main damage threat in your team, and even better if you have someone to heal him, allowing him free reign to build up mana and nuke targets. While both of his actives are quite strong single target, they also cost a bit of mana, and with his lack of special passives and dependency on Garf synergy for Vanguard, Rudley's simplicity may also be his weakness. However, this all changes when we look at his fate core. Yeah, that's right. So Rudley's fate core is one that's very interesting. Unlike many other champions where the fake core really comes through in their passives, Raleigh's fake core actually really changes everything about him, even from his A1 and A2. So let's take a quick look at this new version of Raleigh. So now with fake core, Raleigh's A1 becomes the Living Shot Parish. And what he does is, it only costs 1 mana, and he does 100% damage to 1 enemy. But at the same time, it provides the Silence debuff for 5 turns. After 5 turns, it afflicts the target with Living Shot Parish debuff that inflicts additional damage equal to 100% of the current health, which essentially executes a target. And also, it still has the Vanguard passive, which grants him a barrier that equals to 29% of maximum health for 10 turns. And the difference between this version of Vanguard and his base version of Vanguard is it doesn't actually add a barrier to another ally. And let's take a look at his A2, which is also different. So now the A2 becomes cut with one swift slice. And what it does is it's an AoE damage, which now deals 255% damage to all enemies. And when an attack on all enemies strikes, this will increase the health of all allies by 22% of Raleigh's max HP and the defense of all allies by 21% of Raleigh's defense. And still, this has the Vanguard passive, which grants a barrier equal to 73% of his maximum health for 13 turns. And lastly, his passive also gets the Vanguard component, and what it does is it now provides a barrier to Rodley and an ally with lowest health when a skill strikes an enemy. And this only occurs when Rodley is under the command passive, which he needs either Garf or another champion that has the command passive to actually utilize it. So as you can see, Raleigh's fake core is quite incredible. His A1 now is a very strong skill, which has a 5 turn silence building that requires only 1 mana, 
and has an execute component building with the Living Shot Parish passive. And that is combined with the fact that he has an AoE that comes with a team-wide buff and the Vanguard passive, which means Fate Court Raleigh covers all the weakness that the base Rockley has. As we can see from Rockley's skills, they have a balance between aggressive attack and supportive roles. And this seems to really be a call out to his purpose in the lore, which is being this protector to his nation, you know, being the royal guard captain of Lenome. So it's really an interesting take for the devs to kind of tie in his skills and abilities with the story. So overall, let's say for us, we really like Rodley. We think he's a great champion with a lot of potential, especially if you get his Fate Core version. And if you have a different thought on Rodley, please let us know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see other Exos Hero related content, please feel free to check out our other videos. And lastly, if you enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us. And we hope to see you in the next episode. Peace.